Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur Samveda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching series 1 Padartha Vijnana. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates on Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing the different types of Dravya and we have seen the description of Pancha Mahabhuta. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the next Karana Dravya, Kala. Kala is one among the Nava Karana Dravya and all the activities depends on Kala. In general, Kala refers to time. Utpati of the word Kala. Kala Shabdasya Kakara Karo Lidhadosha Lakara Madaya Kala Shabdasya Nishpati. That is from the Kakara and Akara of Kala Shabda along with the Lidhadu, the word Kala is being produced. And that is Ka A, that is Kakara and Akara and plus Lidhadu, this Kala Shabda is being produced. And the Utpati or the definition Kalayati idi Kalaha. Kal means to count and Kalayati means to put on. Something which is putting on that is called as uh, Kala. The Lakshana of Kala. Kalanath Sarva Bhudanam Sa Kalaha Parikirtitaha. The Dravya which is responsible for the Utpatti of all the living beings is considered to be Kala. That is Sarva Bhutanam Kalanath. Utpatti of all the things is considered to be responsible uh, by the Kala. Samkalayati kalayati va bhutani iti kalaha. That which does the creation and destruction of the living beings is considered to be kala. That is sankalayati and kalayati. Both the creation and destruction of the living beings are because of this kala. Sankalayati sukadukkapyam bhutani yojayati iti kalaha. And that factor which is responsible to bind the living beings uh, to either Sukha or Dukha is considered to be Kala. So that which is responsible for the Utpati of all the living beings is considered to be Kala. And also which is responsible for the Utpati and destruction of a living being is uh, considered to be Kala. And that which binds as towards the Sukha, Dukha etc. is considered to be Kala. Kalayati samkshipatiti kalaha, mrityu samipam va nayatiti kalaha. That which reduces the lifespan of the humans or the uh, living beings and take towards mrityu is considered to be kala. As the kala progress or as the uh, time progress, the lifespan of the living beings will be getting reduced and we will be moving towards the death. So that which reduces the lifespan and uh, moves towards or takes us towards the mrityu or death is considered to be kala. Ati dadi vyavahara heduhu kalaha sarcha eko vibhur nityascha. So the kala is considered to be vibhu, nitya and eka. That is vibhu means which is spread everywhere or present everywhere. Nitya means which is not having any destruction and it is eka. But for our understanding, ati dadi vyavahara, for the better understanding of this kala, we consider this kala as different uh, types or classifications are being done. But actually this kala is eka, vibhu and nitya. Kalohi nama bhagavan swayam bhu ranadi madhya nidhano atra rasavyapat sambatti jivita maranecha manushyana mayate. The Kala is considered to be the supreme factor for prosperity. That is Kalohi nama bhagavan. It is considered to be the bhagavan or supreme factor for the prosperity. And swayambhu anadi madhya. And uh, it is considered to be swayambhu. That is anadi. Uh, it is not having any uh, origin or uh, no end. And Rasavyapat Sambati and it is responsible for the Sampat and Vipat of Rasadi Guna of Dravya. That is all this uh, vegetations are attaining the Rasadi Gunas that is uh, Rasa, Guna, Virya, Vipaka and Prabhava will be attained by the action or by the effect of this Kala. So the Sampat or Vipat that is the good or bad uh, effect or the good and bad things which is happening the qualities of the uh, Dravyas is based on this Kala. 
so the sampath and vipat of the rasadi gunas of a particular dravya is depending on this kala and similarly <clears throat> in the case of uh, human beings jivita and marana are being associated with kala kala is responsible for the jivita and marana so kala is considered to be bhagavan it is considered as the supreme uh, factor and there is no end and origin for this kala and this kala is responsible for the rasadi uh, gunas uh, sampath and vipath of a dravya and this kala is also responsible for the jivita and marana of the living beings guna of kala vaisheshika darshana has uh, told five gunas for kala that is sankhya parimana prathaktva samyoga and vibhaga aupadika bheta of kala already it has been mentioned that kala is eka and for the better understanding of this kala this has been divided or classified into uh, different types that is uh, kala is eka only or it is only one but vyavaharika bheta uh, for the better understanding it is being classified into atita vartamana and bhavishyat kala that is past present and future uh, has been classified kalo hi nityakascha avasthikascha tatra avasthiko vikaram apekshate nityakastu rudu satmya apeksha and for the better understanding the kala can be classified into two that is nityaga and avastika kala the avastika kala refers to the vikara that is the disease conditions or the uh, the conditions of the disease manifestation such all avasthas can be considered as avastika kala and nityaga kala refers to the ritu satmya peksha that is the regarding the ritu masa ayana such kalas can be considered as the nityaga kala so kala can be considered or classified into two that is nityaga and avastika nityaga is the ritu related kalas and avastika refers to the kala which is related to the uh, disease manifestation or we can consider as the stages of diseases as this avastika kala kalaha punaha samvalsarascha aturavastha cha tatra samvalsaro dvividha त्रिधा षोठा द्वादश भूयश्च अप्यतः प्रविभज्यते तत् कार्यम अभि समीक्ष्य एंड आल्सो द स्काला कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू संवल्सरा एंड आतुरा अवस्था संवल्सरा रेफर्स टू अगेन सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ द ऋतु मासा अयना एक्सेट्रा एंड आतुरा अवस्था रेफर्स टू द स्टेजेस ऑफ द डिजीजेस और डिफरेंट स्टेजेस थ्रू अ डिजीज मैनिफेस्टेशन इज ऑकरिंग सो दीस आर द टू क्लासिफिकेशंस ऑफ काला so kala is a eka or it is only one but for the better understanding of this kala it is being classified into atita vartamana and bhavishyat kala also this kala is classified into nityaga and avastika and another one classification is samvalsara and atura avastha nityaka is nimeshaadi kala that is nimesha refers to the blinking of eyes so nimeshaadi kala is considered to be the nityaka kala and samvalsara consists of ayana rutu masa etc and avastika kala is uh, composed of the vyadhi avastha kala that is the different stages of the disease manifestation is coming under avastika kala kshana or matra is the minutest uh, time period or uh, kala and matra means akshinimesha the time for once uh, blinking the eyes is considered to be akshinimesha that much time is considered to be one matra and 15 matra comprises one kashta 30 kashta makes one kala 20 and 1 by 10 kala makes one natika two natikas make one muhurta 3 and 3 by 4th muhurtas makes one yama so kshana or the matra is considered to be the minutest or the smallest time and matra means akshinimesha that is the time taken for blinking the eyes 15 matras makes one kashta 30 kashta makes one kala 20 and 1 by 10 kalas make one natika two natikas make one muhurta and 3 and 3 by 4th muhurtas makes one yama eight yamas makes one ahoratri that is uh, one day and night one ahoratri 15 ahoratris makes one paksha two pakshas makes one masa two masas make one ritu three ritus comprise one ayana and two ayanas comprise of one varsha and 
thousand varshas is considered to be one yuga. So eight yama makes one ahoratri, fifteen ahoratri makes one paksha, two paksha makes one masa, two masa makes one rutu, three rutus make one ayana, two ayana makes one varsha, and thousand varsha makes one yuga. The significance of uh, kala. In case of uh, classification of vaya or age, this uh, kala has importance. That is, balya, yavana, varthakya are the different classification of ages. That is, up to certain age period, that is, up to 16 years, we can consider the uh, as childhood or balya. In between six, uh, 17 to uh, 60 years, we can consider it as yavana. And above 60 or above 70, as per different acharyas, it is considered to be the varthakya or vritha. So, these classification or categorization of ages is based on the Kala. Aushata Sevana Kala. In Ayurveda, there are certain time periods which are mentioned for the intake of medicines. That is for the administration of medicines, a particular time period has been mentioned. Regarding the different types of doshas which are involved in the disease manifestation, based on that dosha predominance, different time periods are being told. That is, uh, for example, before uh, consumption of the food, after consumption of the food, in between consuming the food, or uh, frequently one has to take uh, the medicines, or at the night time one has to take the medicine. So, different kinds of aushatha sevana kalas have been mentioned. These aushatha sevana kalas are mentioned based Based on the predominance of dosha which is present in the disease manifestation. So, this is also based on the kala or based on the time uh, the aushatha sevana kalas are mentioned. Aushatha sangrahana kala. Similarly, before the uh, manufacturing of the uh, products or medicines, the aushathas or the dravyas has to be collected. For the collection of this uh, dravyas, also particular time period has been mentioned. That is, at a particular nakshatra or a particular muhurta or at a particular rutu or masa, the certain dravyas are, has to be collected. This is told because during that time that uh, dravyas will be having the most maximum potency or the virias will be more powerful and in that time we have to collect the dravyas. Similarly, in each rudu which uh, part of the dravyas has to be collected is also mentioned. That is, uh, in which uh, rudus we have to collect the flowers, in which rudus we have to collect the root, in which rudus we have to collect the leaf, such all collection uh, timings has been mentioned. These all are told because the seasons or the time of uh, will be having a effect on the virias or potency of the plants. So, Aushatha Sankrahana Kala is also mentioned in Ayurveda. Next is Saviryata Avati. As all the medicines are being collected and prepared, uh, medicines are prepared and after that we have to keep it and uh, the shelf life of the medicines are also mentioned. Each uh, dravyas or each medicines are having different different shelf life. That is uh, if, a, if we prepare a khrida then it will be having a particular shelf life based on the preparation and based on the ingredients which are used. Similarly, Thaira will be having a different shelf life. Churna will be having a different shelf life. Similarly, each and every medicinal preparations will be having a shelf life. That is how much time we can preserve that uh, medicine without spoiling that. That is called as shelf life. That is Saviryata Avati. These all are depending on the Kala or these all are told based on the Kala. Shatkriya Kala based on the manifestation of the diseases. Shat Kriya Kalas has been mentioned. That is the six stages through which the disease manifestation is taking place. That is also the Kala. This Shat Kriya Kala helps us to understand in which uh, avastha the dosha is and what management we have to do. That is Sanchaya, Prakopa and Prasara will be the uh, stages in which the uh, dosha dushti will be taking place and the signs and symptoms will be seen in the body. So, if we are taking management of if uh, we are doing the management in these stages, then it will be easy for the 
curing of the diseases. If it crosses these uh, stages and it comes to the sthana sam shreya vyakta and bheda, then it will be somewhat difficult for the management. The disease manifestation will be taking place uh, fully and even the complications can be seen in the person. So these are the shat kriya kalas which we have to understand uh, how the disease manifestation is occurring. So if in the starting stages, if we are giving the management or treatment, then we can uh, the, avoid the complications of the disease manifestation and also the diseases can be cured very easily. So these are the certain examples which are being used or which are being told in Ayurveda Shastra related to that of Kala. So Kala in general means the time period or time and uh, various Aushatha uh, uh, Sangrahana or Aushatha Sevana or even the preparation of the medicines or even for the disease manifestation or such are the, all the things we need this references of Kala and Kala is that which is uh, responsible for the uh, birth and death or Utpati and destruction of all the things and it is responsible for binding us to all all the sukha, dukha, etc. And everything, all the procedures depends on the kala. Like uh, all the sneha panas or swedana karmas, that is purva karmas or the prathana karmas or the pancha karmas or even the shastra karmas. All the activities or all the karmas which are being mentioned as the uh, aushatha or uh, even the management procedures also require the particular or specific time in which we have to do. And also in Amavasta or Pakkavasta in different time periods we have to give certain particular medications or the treatments has to be done. So these all depends on the Kala. So this is uh, why the Kala is important and Kala is considered to be a Nava Karana Dravya as per the Ayurveda Shastra also. Today we have discussed the details of Kala and will be continuing with the details of Navakarana Dravyas in the upcoming videos. For more updates on Samhita, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.